today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, Henderson escaping the pressure right. And his first pass is incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Throwing on first down, Henderson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Forced out to his left. Got a man. That's Colin Johnson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down, Henderson, flush to his right. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. Not much there, only a yard. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Jalen Camp. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. to throw. Henderson steps away, and he slings one that's incomplete. Tyler Davis, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Henderson completes it to Davis. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three touchdown game of their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big time tackles really put it on those receivers. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. His throw incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. Third down here. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. 
And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. On first and 10, Henderson flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Being chased out left. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to throw. Henderson flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. The kick by Lambeau is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. And he wisely will throw that one away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Henderson escaping the pressure right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Gain of nine that time on the scramble. One yard shy of the marker, and it brings up fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Throwing on first down. Henderson flush to his right. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun. Henderson. And his throw is incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. To throw again. Henderson. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Buying time to his left. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over. Pressure comes, and the Titans are able to bring him down. Rashad Evans, the linebacker, recording the sack there. And that time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, You'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. And that'll make it third down. Eluding the pressure right. And he finds Dorsett. It's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first down, Henderson dancing to his left. He's got his big tight end, Farrell, complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. one through and that will do it Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive and they're not going to play this conservative I don't think they had a field goal last time and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone oh I agree with you totally no one is goes out on the field and says all right let's just settle for three except in certain situations trying to ice a game that sort of deal most of the time it's end zone and that's what you're thinking and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one yeah no quarterback ever goes out there saying hey, let's get three right <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met Flushed out right, and that is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Tyler Davis, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Looking to throw. Henderson escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught. It's Chenault. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Seven yards there and a first down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. On first and ten, Henderson steps away to his left. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. To throw on second down. Henderson flush to his right. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Back to throw. Henderson eluding the pressure right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Johnson the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. Looking to throw. Henderson flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Colin Johnson, his second touchdown. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, giving him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Here's second and 10. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Gunnison Austin. And the return here will go. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Jones has it. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Throwing on first down. Henderson flushed to his right and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Blesson Austin. And a big turnover there as his. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Eluding the pressure right. He completes it to Jones. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now it looks like he'll throw here, sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the gun, Henderson flushed out right. That'll be caught right side Chenault with it. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 25 yards that time. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Back to throw. Henderson escaping the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, 
Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? They'll roll him out right. And that will be caught, but out of bounds. Out of bounds, ruled incomplete here. Yeah. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Flush to his right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Colin Johnson, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. On first down, Henderson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target. And now it's second down. Looking to throw, Henderson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Operating from the gun, Henderson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And we talk so much about the turnover battle. The So, Nia, you had the chance to talk with Manny Kahue recently. Oh. 